them. <laughs> uh, just waking up with some Dr. Pepper. We never even com we never even like did much inside of uh, Grunty Industries last time. So we're still here. <laughs> I'm not quite certain on all we need to do still, but I guess let's just search around. I mean, we've got like a ton of like cookies left to get, we've got 10 notes to get. Usually, I at least get like all the notes and then like some of the jiggies. I don't believe... I don't believe that I have... Hey, Evil Rafas, how are you? Oh, I can't use the teleport as the... as the washing machine. Hi, Charles Manzer. Use a service elevator instead. Thirty second ad time. There you go. <laughs> there you go. bear. No, we're letting the bear live. <laughs> yeah, I don't have that exciting of channel point redeems. Okay, so we've been through here. We've done this part. Oh my god. I know the service elevator, it's not this way. So bad at aiming this thing. because uh Rift Sioku is like saying that they were saving up uh points so that they could run a bunch of ads and I was like I was thinking like if he wants to run a bunch of ads then I might as well just have a a, re a reward uh for like a the longest time I can 
if he wanted to really spend it on ads. Anyway. Four, four. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of ads. Sixty seconds. Okay. Mm, I can't run those ads right now, but I'll run them as soon as I can. I'm running out. Of that. Well, it's not necessarily that I'm running out, but I am so low in honeycomb right now. Quality control. Oh uh, yeah, I need to be... I don't understand. Okay. I need to be the washing machine to get through that, but... I need to be... Baron Bird to use that jump pad. Or at least the bird. There's no way to turn back here. Is there? No, there's no way to transform back into Baron Bird. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> Oi! I guess let's just wander around until I figure out what my plan was. I'm gonna go up here to get this up later. Did I want to go outside? Because I remember there are... There are def definitely, like... There are definitely... Rabbits outside that need their clothes washed. And I haven't done those outside parts yet. No... No... <laughs> No honeycombs? I keep wanting to call them hearts, but they're not hearts. Oh, and I can't jump out here, can I? I need like a little ramp. I can't jump high enough. Ah, I see. Kind of. Is there a way to get over there? That is easy. I can't get in there. If I go to if Floor 3? Does Floor 3 have something for me? Oi! <laughs> Hmm. 
Yeah, I could have predicted that. Let's go to the third floor, maybe? Maybe? I don't even know. Got a box here. You know, a kindred spirit. We too are a type of box right now. Boy. Those guys are so stealthy. Like, they are really small and easy to overlook. There we go. Have to be a little bit proactive and fight these things. We've already been in this, uh. Yes, we've been in here. And we washed this guy's clothes. Washing machine. Let's head up to the fifth floor and see if there's anything we're missing there. You know, I have to remember what I was cooking. I do. Honestly and truly, I do have to remember what I was, what I was doing. This is the enemy, right? And this is something. Oh, we can't get up there. Oh, hey Derek. How are you doing today? I'm glad to hear it. And I've cleaned this guy's clothes already, too. <laughs> Derek, you get any any snow or any like weird weather? Ooh. It's been like really rainy and windy here. Yeah. <laughs> Rain is a. Uh... Oh. It's sort of unusual here. It's not like crazy unusual. Of course, it happens, but it's not that common. I feel like it's been more common than the past few years. Whoa. Then how do I get outside? I think that's what I ultimately want to figure out. How to get this washing machine outside. Wow. 
can't believe the security system activated. Or a washing machine. Do they hate clean clothes? What's their deal? Okay, we can go through here. We go outside. I hear- Whoa. Whoa. Okay. This is... Bad, right? Something like that? Does this hurt us? No, it doesn't hurt us. Okay. The rain- The water here doesn't hurt us as, uh... As a washing machine. That's... So useful to know. Heavy soil wash, if you don't mind. Oh my god, it's TOS! It's TOS, that guy's totally naked. He's got his rabbit bits hanging out. Try and find my two skewy workmates. Their overalls will probably need a quick rinse, too. Okay, so we've got two more of those rabbits to go. So this is for the train, which we've already gotten. This is... what is this? Whatever that is, I guess I already got it? I don't know. Can't climb. I can't climb past the washing machine. <laughs> ah, okay. I'm cracked. Okay, so that's all we can do. I mean, we still got two guys to go. No way to get past it. Not that I can see. Wonder if there's a way on a different level. Ooh. can't access the rest of the first floor from here. We know at least where... I think one rabbit's on the first floor, and then one rabbit's outside. Have I killed the boss of this area? No, I haven't. I've barely done anything in this floor, despite how long I've spent... Despite how long I've spent here, I haven't done anything here. Basically. Oh, you like the boss? But it's difficult. Okay. I wonder how I open that thing. That's obviously somewhere... And that's intended for the washing. Whoa, washing machine. Ooh. <laughs> this is a pretty machine 
means there's... I mean, these, secu these security systems do sense this. What's she trying to protect over here? What are they even doing? I don't... know exactly. It looks like they're just making sludge. Like, usually sludge is like... an unwanted byproduct, but I think this is the main thing that they're making, sludge. Okay, so I think we probably have to figure out how to open that hatch. And there's probably... What's that sa Who's doing that? Is that... Is there a rabbit near? Sounds like a like a pouty little rabbit guy. Oh, he's up there. Okay. And that's connected to over here, I guess? I don't know. Okay, so I guess that's where the last guy is. Not necessarily. Yeah, it's not necessarily, uh... In... what's his face? It's not necessarily outside. So if we've got two left, that's that's one of them and the other one's on the first one. Okay, okay, okay. My my mind is starting to wake up. It's starting to work now. Maybe we go up there first, this barren bird, and then we do something, it opens up that hatch, and then we can go up there. That's what I predict. Whoa. Yeah, it's... So much easier to defeat guys with, uh, Baron Bird. Okay. And then we'll hang off this ledge. Be careful. There's a rabbit. Anything else? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, there's a ladder over there, too. What does this connect to? Oh! This is how you open up that hatch. It, we might as well whew, we might as well try this way and see what lies over there it just looks like a uh, eggs and not much else yeah basically just eggs is there anything to shoot here no just eggs Whoa, okay. <laughs> okay, so let's avoid that electricity. Here we go. What's up here? Uh, am I gonna fi play Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door? I'm probably gonna play that eventually. I don't know if I'm gonna play it, play it like immediately after Paper Mario. 
but eventually I will. That wasn't... Okay, so that wasn't any type of unlock. I don't know about Jet Force Gemini. It doesn't seem like a game that I would be very good at. It's like a... It's more... It's more shooty, isn't it? I'm not good at games that involve shooting. Washing machine now, and we'll get down to business. I was, I was gonna say, like, we'll get down and dirty, but that's the opposite of what we're doing. We're getting down and clean. <sighs> Why did I do that? <laughs> Why did I do that? Grunty want clean workers? Why is she impeding on our ability to clean these workers? Anything else on this floor for us to do as a washing machine? It's just the first floor, but I don't know how to get to the dude on the first floor yet. Maybe if we go. No, I was gonna say if maybe if we go to, to that area with um. The magnet, but there's nowhere to go from there. Okay. Also, I have no idea what this is. I guess this is just from a higher floor I dropped down, and that's it. No. 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 Oh, 
No. Come on. We could go down this elevator shaft. And... This is gonna lead us to the final rabbit. It's gonna lead us to... Buddy Boy. Not really, I don't think so. <laughs> I don't think so. This just leads us outside. Which I believe we've already gone out here to do whatever it is we can out here. Anything else to do out here? There must be a reason that we can access that elevator shaft and go down. There must be some kind of reason. We only need to figure out what that reason is. Yeah. We could have always reached here. Because there's a ramp. How do we get to this dude? And there's the surf elevator. Oh, we want to do something with uh, these chains right here, right here, right here. So that it goes down and then we have like a way across. Okay. I see it. I see the vision. Which floor would that be on? I mean, there are... There are multiple floors with the the whole magnet set up. Oof. Let's change... I think that's a thing that can be unscrewed, but there, which we can do if we change to Baron Bird. Okay. Let's change to Baron Bird. And find a way up to the fifth floor. I don't know if we've unlocked the fifth floor as Baron Bird. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I mean, the squeaks kind of do match um, Kazooie's little grunts when you're running a Kazooie. Like, uh -huh. They're not quite as charming, but... Hey. Yes, so we don't... We 
Yeah, so we don't have floor five unlocked. I don't think. We at least don't have a warp to floor five. Traverse up here. Go to this top part. For what? Yes. We can enter as. Huh. Enter as a washing machine, but we can't really get far as a washing machine without doing something else. I don't know what that something else is, but we can't do it. Go up here. We can do something with... This thing? No, that's nothing. So we've got stuff potentially if we unscrew some chains. We've already turned off the crushers. That's good. the way up oh i guess um i need to be solo kazooie to get up there just so that i'm lighter okay and what's over here That's incredibly strange. Just like, I understand why you would put that little shortcut there, but I just think, like, in terms of the context of the layout of this factory, it's very strange. <laughs> it's very strange. There's something on the ground floor that you go into and you slide out the top of the same floor. I've already unlocked this, uh, yes, I've already unlocked this, right? So the elevator shaft we can get to from here. If ever we needed to. Sections here. Let's try going up. This is the sewer axis. We want the sewer axis. Oh, this is the shooting thing. I remember. I remember. Yes. This is where you would shoot all that poop. That we didn't successfully do last time. Mind you. Uh -huh. 
Alright, let's look on this other side. Evil room. Oh! Yes, and then we would need a battery here. I think the whole reason to come up here, just as Kazooie, would be just to unlock that elevator shaft so that we can get here as both Banjo and Kazooie. But yeah, let's uh, let's combine. Who's the spoon? No, there's no, <laughs> there's no use for the spoon. Here. I've already put away the spoon. The spoon's not here anymore. Yeah, so I'm gonna need to go to an elevator shop. Hey, Chick Zoner, how are you? Let's hope head over to that elevator shaft, yeah. We can try the... The shooting thing again. The poop, the poop vents. However, <laughs> I don't know if I'll fare any better this time. We can't, like, yeah. I don't think we can... Grab batteries back. Have we seen a straight battery anywhere? I feel like we have. Like, just in the session alone, we've seen one. Somewhere, but... Who knows? Oh, there's a battery outside! Yes! I should head outside. To get that battery. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay. Let's go that Whoa! Sometimes the camera kind of works against you, but it's fine. I won against the camera. I won! Oh, and there's the... And there's what I believe are the last notes over there. we even get over there? Looks like there's like some kind of entrance, like a little tunnel. But yeah, let's um, let's head outside. We can finally get that battery, the one that's near the entrance. It's a bit of a tease, you know? The first one that appears and then... Well, it's the first one that you're likely to see. And... It just happens to be the last one that we're using. Because... How you enter the factory is not through this entrance. At first, it's through the train. So, it's quite a while before you actually can get out. And grab this battery. Okay, let's get inside this. Yes. Yes. Can I jump up here? Yes, I can. Can I actually jump up here? Easily? Yes, I can. Hey. All right. Okay. So now 
the batteries on the battery that we need to I mean like the low battery slot it's on the fourth floor isn't it I think so near the crusher wait no wait no, no, no. we have to we have to go through the elevator shaft because we won't be able to jump over there. Alright, so where is that? Where's that ding ding elevator shaft? It's like on a raised platform somewhere. Here. You know, something about... <laughs> something about, like, elevators... It's kind of frightening. Um, just that... The prospect that they're just held up by these ropes. I mean, in a well-maintained building... You really don't have that much to fear. But, like, I think of, like, those... Um... Those living spaces, like those apartments or... Even like those fancy houses that might have their own elevators. And it's just like... I I don't know if I would trust that. Because... Oof, oof. <laughs> because it's like, without that regular checkup, without, you know, that regular maintenance, can you really trust that thing not to just snap in and then send you... Lion. Oh. oh my god. Let's let's hope I don't die. Here we are. Additional battery power channel to door. Access is now granted. I wonder what's in here. Four four cable room. Yeah, let's recombine and let's <laughs> let's head to that cable room we just unlocked. Oh yeah, we can't access that. We can't really access that, um, that cable room, unless we go through the elevator shaft. That's right, because Banjo's weighing down Kazooie. Can't jump up there.
Let's go. Okay, so let's have a look see. Cable room, I think. Because it's it's dark in there. Hard to look and see what our goal is. <laughs> yes, that definitely just looks like uh, health. Ah. And this is what? Extractor fan not required. Not required. Okay. Here's some help. All the control. <laughs> uh, this is that other side of um, that room that we can enter as the as the washing machine, but we can't do anything with. But it's not required. Why is it not required? What's this? Is this anything? Is this just a light? What if I change to... Grenade? Yeah, it doesn't do anything. <laughs> so I assume we want... That rare... Canister. Not canister, but barrel. Oh, jeez. Maybe... Maybe the fan is in case I hit one of these, like, toxic ones. And we need to use the fan to reset it. There we are. What did that do for me? Is there more? No way there's just one, right? Yes! There's that talk again. I wonder if it resets back to the very beginning. It probably does. Otherwise it would be too easy, wouldn't it? Initiate detoxifying sequence. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. It is now safe to re-enter.
<laughs> okay, at least it only shows that little, like, cutscene sequence, like, the first time. No, 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 no. I'm about to die. I'm about to die here. Okay. Jeez, too early, too early. I was getting too late with the other shots, so... I tried to just to make it earlier, but it was too early. There we go. Oh, there's more. No. What are those rare barrels even supposed to have? I mean, I know one contains like toxic gas. At least, but what do the rare barrels supposed to What are they supposed to transport? The good gas? Fire eggs, so maybe I should try fire eggs instead. Okay, so these fire eggs aren't doing it. about these regular eggs? No? Okay, so... I need the grenades. I absolutely need grenades. Is there any way to refill my grenade? Oh, wait, wait. Here's some eggs. Don't want to deal with you guys. I just want some dang old eggs. Some ding dang eggs. No, too late, too late, too late, too late. I think I need to hit like one barrel before and then no earlier than that.
be a little bit cautious here. Let's get kind of close. No! Still too too late. Still too late. Interesting that they spawn me out here with my barren bird separated. Where did my barren bird separate? I don't remember where Kazooie is. I mean, I think... Kazooie is probably... Near the Crushers? Now let me get out there. <laughs> uh. I can jump up here. Jump up here, jump up here. Alright. Oh wait, 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 no, I'm not separated. I thought I was separated. Jeez. I just have to remember like Kazooie, you know, hangs out inside the backpack. Oh. You know, Kazooie isn't immediately visible. Is the elevator actually? Because <laughs> we keep traversing this elevator shaft. I don't know where the elevator actually is. Is it at like the very, very top? And then maybe we bring down the elevator at some point. wanting to go that way, but that way is just the shooting portion with the, with the poop vents. Does it reset all the way to the beginning? 
Oh, no, 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 no. I still... Oh, wait. <laughs> I still have my progress. And I still have that toxic gas in there. It's going pretty well. How are you doing, Magikarp? No! I just got up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I figure. Kind of. Because, like, Rascal's stream went on so late into the night. So either you stayed up, like, really late, or you just woke up. 5 a.m. Wow. Your dedication to watching Rascal. Jiggy. Are there still any more? There's still like more of those barrels. But do they do anything? Now that I've revealed the Jiggy? Maybe not. Where'd that Jiggy go? Where'd the Jiggy go? Jiggy. Jiggy? Did the Jiggy go somewhere else? At the top behind the conveyor. Oh, okay. Can I make my way over there? On this way? Or do I need to actually go... Do I actually need to go there on the other side? With, uh... Washing machine? Maybe. You hated this area? <laughs> yeah, it seems like it, this is an unpopular area with people. Let me try the, um... Let me try, like, the little shooting... The little FPS section. Again. Who knows, maybe it does more than just, uh... Maybe it does more... Boy. Maybe it does more than just, uh... Give us a jiggy. Maybe it unlocks something in this factory. I want to look across the way. What is this? Okay, no. That's just the flat texture. I thought maybe that was a ledge I could climb that little pipe texture. But no, I think that's just flat completely. Yep, here we are in the sewer. Yeah, I know it's not in there, but I haven't done this successfully. So I'm just gonna do it while I can. While I'm already here. Oh, here. Here's one. Okay. 
I need to enter one with magic. Yes, yes, yes. I've been on that area before. And I've been very confused why I could enter that area with nothing to do. But there is something to do. Let's just get that jiggy. Wow. No, you're wasting my time, dude. really see the straight line from this to Concord. With like, you know, these poop vents and all that, and the really stacked ladies. I wasn't feeling well. Maybe now that I'm at full strength, 90% strength, 80% strength, 70% strength, I'll be able to do this. need to fall down go randomly that's not so random because it did spit me out to somewhere I've been to <laughs> okay fart noise. That's what I do in real life, that's what I gotta do in the game. I wonder how... 
cool. I wonder how Banjo fans react to stuff like this. Like, Banjo is a much more family-friendly kind of brand. Like, yes, there are like rude characters, but they're not like... They're not so much like uh, Conqueror's level. Like, <laughs> Benjo Kazooie. It's much more family friendly. So I just wonder how this crude humor goes over. But, um, also. Yeah, do you not like their output now? Magikarp, do not like their, like... What are they even doing? Viva Pinata? But they don't really output anything. Oh. Oh yeah, Sea of Thieves. Yes, that is a rare game that a lot of people love, don't they? It's not quite like, um... Yeah, I've only got <laughs> one left. Who knows where it is? Ugh. Yeah, it's not quite like the early rare brand. I don't... I've just seen like a tiny, tiny bit of Sea of Thieves. So, I don't know anything about like... What kind of like atmosphere it has. It's just like an open world kind of like... Pirate game, right? Yeah, they did. <laughs> I missed the Connect era. Games were so goofy then. Rest in peace, bro. Rest in peace. I miss all the dance games, the weird, like, oh, shake your body. Here's a little kids game that where you pet Elmo or something.
don't feel stellar about this run. Uh, I'm not gonna do, be able to do this. The eye toy for PS2? I do remember the eye toy for PS2. Yes. I miss, like, I don't know. Did I ever play any of those games that used uh, the camera motion controls? No. But do I miss it? Yes. I miss it very dearly. I love stupid game gimmicks. It makes looking at trailers much more fun. Gimmicks in general. Just because I think it's the spice of life, you know? Ugh. One poop! One poop! No, you know, it. it, it for me, it brings me back to, like... It brings me back to those days of, like, when E3 was, like, much more of a trade show. And you get those, like... Just goofy presentations of, like, Mr. Caffeine and stuff. I used to love watching E3. Because it was so... It was full of, like, so much unintentional humor. But then it became like so sterile and it, and just like about game trailers and stuff. And now like no one shows up to E3. E3 now is like kind of dead. Yeah, I... Honestly, I didn't care about the... The trailers so much as I just wanted to see like corporate presentation. I love to see what like business people think is appealing to normal people. I love seeing that disconnect there. One of the main reasons you quit watching E3, there wasn't any appeal to watch it. Yeah, I don't know. It's like, oh wow, you got a bunch of game trailers? Like, I can just like look up the ones that I'm interested in later. I also miss, uh, Nintendo Directs, like, having, like... I miss when Nintendo Directs had, like, more jokes and stuff. Now they're just like, here's another trailer! And then, let's do a snap. Wasn't that trailer fun?
will I actually find? Will I actually find all the poop this time? Who knows? Poops left. And the time has run out. I'm slowly running out of air. And I'm dying. I'm dying. Yep, no hope for me. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think the new, like, Nintendo management has as much of a sense of humor. I liked how they took, like, regular employees like Bill Trinan and made them into, like, characters. Like, really and truly, I am not, um... I'm not, like, buying every game out there. If I buy games, it's usually, like, years and years late. So I just like this. I just like to see guys being dudes, hanging out. Trying to sell me products. Yeah, the Wii was when games were... When games were about being fun. Oh, this is the beginning again. <laughs> Doesn't bode well that I got turned around so quickly. Oh, wait, wait. worry about just like the poops hiding in corners just like when you're wiping you know you have to you worry about those poops hiding in the corner oh there's one way up there You think Banjo wipes thoroughly? I don't know. Oh, here's one. I don't know, he's got that fur, it's pretty tough. He's not like exactly a Charmin Bear. No, no, no. Ooh. You know, I think it's a little obscene. How the Charmin bears get all up in your face about... Their bathroom practices. I hear the sound of music. No! 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 
No! I heard... I heard the sounds of a phantom poop. I've heard them. I just didn't know where they were. Okay. If I have infinite fire eggs, I should just be like firing constantly. Oh, there's one right here. I don't know why infinite fire eggs specifically is a thing that was given to me. Um, rather than starting with, you know, regular eggs, but whatever, it's fine. one in this corner, isn't there? No? No? Okay. The sewers are alive with the sound of farts. Jeez. I heard some farts. Oh, here. Farts? I hear him. Oh, there's one. There's another. Oh, God. Please, please. Game, have pity on me. Is it over here? No, 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 no. Where is it? Where is it? I heard a fart. No! No! Oh, here's one. Two left? Oh my god. Two left? I don't understand, right? I don't understand. How is it that getting failing to get rid of all the poops makes makes the poops spawn all all the way back? Here's 
wanted to make sure. <laughs> just want to make sure I don't leave any stone unturned, any poop unwiped. Banjo has like a f a fuller name. Like, you know, if his uh, <laughs> if his parents like ever like got mad at him and used his full name, like you know, Benjamin Joseph. For the vote of confidence, Charles Manzer. Okay. Gotta keep my ears peeled. The spoon won't help, Charles Manzer. The spoon has abandoned me. <laughs> you don't have to, but like, yeah. I'm just saying, the spoon isn't helping me. No. I'm sure the spoon won't help me. had the sound like really blasted I'd be able to like tell more where the poops are I just lost the low health. I didn't even run out of time. I just ran out of health. <laughs> it's so funny. What a gooster I am. I 
what an absolute chuckle bucket I am. The type of mad I am is the crazy type of mad. Some people get mad with power, I get mad with weakness. I get mad with lack of power. All these options before you. But when you're standing there, unsure of where that last one or two are, and that's when the game really starts. Ooh. Deliver some farts onto me. Okay, there's one. And there's another. Last one, last one, last one. I need to figure out where that last one is. No! <laughs> I wonder if there's one that's just super hidden and it's the one I'm always missing or not. Over here. Yeah. There should be at least one up there. Yes, yes, yes. Whenever they've got multiple floors, there's at least one at the top. I know this to be true. No, no farts. No, 
found nothing there. Oh, here we are, here we are. One up there. Hearts are like music to my ears. Would this be the run? Would this be the run? You overestimate my my memory if you think that I'm gonna have this memorized. Hi. Oh! I heard some farts. Where'd those farts come from? Where'd the farts come from? Oh, there's one right here. Give me a break, game! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just keep missing one. I just keep missing one. up a walkthrough. Just now or when you played it? Oh, when you played it? Probably would be the sane person's idea, but I'm not sane. I'm insane. I'm ins oh, uh, I'm insane in the membrane. that are like way up to the ceiling or something that and those are the ones that I'm missing whenever it comes down to just one or two like maybe I'm not like thoroughly enough um, searching for those Way 
where? Oh, okay. I hear some farts. Why do I hear farts, like, in the middle of this tunnel? Oh, there's some poops here. Oh, I guess it's because of this. Okay, this is not a crazy good run. This is actually kind of a bad run. And here we are, back at just one poop left. Why do I keep missing this poop? What? Is this the same poop? Is it the same poop? What's happening right now? Am I glitched? Because I'm not dying. Am I glitched? I think as long as I don't get hit, I don't know if... I don't know if picking health does anything, but like, I, I think as long as I don't get hit or nothing, that triggers it to mess with my health. I think that it'll continue to... You know keep me alive. Yeah, look, I have no health right now. <laughs> Absolutely zero. crazy how I'm not hearing any poop. I'm not hearing any farts or anything. Zoo's an imposter. Well, Kazooie is a dragon right now. This could be like just a random dragon. Somewhere I have neglected to check. Like, over and over and over.
<laughs> yes. They do look kind. Whoa, 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 whoa. They do look kind of samey. Oh, here's the last one. Sensors indicate clinker threat has been neutralized. A cleanup bonus will be awarded. <laughs> Wow, we kind of cheated, but the game gave us that. We didn't use any exploits. The game just decided to give us a break. The game broke itself for us. This is okay. It'll take us right to the exit. Uh -huh. Wow, amazing, amazing. That skill. Uh, I was wondering if this like, little alcove is uh, 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 uh. Hmm. Let's get over to Gumba's um, wigwam to turn into a washing machine and get that. Get that, um, that jiggy behind the conveyor belt. Whoa. <laughs> I expected to be able to like pull out Kazooie and like cushion my fall. Oi. Too bad you can't use warp pads as the washing machine. Wumba's wigwam. Washer. Is this like a two-in-one washer and dryer or something? Because it looks like we're just a dryer, but it calls us a washer. We do wash clothes, but like when we hand it back to the guys, they immediately put them on. Did they just put on like... Did they just put on wet clothes? A front low washer? I've never seen a front low washer in my life. I mean, 
I guess maybe it's better than being like soaked in like oil and gunk. But come on now. They're taunting me with these windows sometimes. <laughs> can go over to floor 5 as the washer, but I don't remember if there's any sort of reason whatsoever to do that. through here, and then... Yes. Whoa, 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 whoa. Calm down, guys. Uh -huh. <laughs> now what? One of the things I'm thinking of is I need to go to the second floor to maybe unscrew like one of those platforms that's uh, on floor one. Unless like those chains can reach through multiple floors. And then I don't know. Like, I assume it's this. Maybe I have to reach that from the outside? And there's always this, but like... Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I want to turn back. Maybe I have to go from the outside and then go in. Ah, oh, jeez. Yeah, I've not yet found the use for this pipe. I think it's just a one-way pipe. We can exit out from here. But there's like a... There's a door that goes and says that it's two floor one and it really just reaches outside. And then I guess we can loop around maybe? We, we have all those flight paths we unlocked. attack. Oh, it is. Sometimes to me it sounds like PASTA! PASTA! But that's just me being a narcissist and loving pasta. I both identify as pasta and I love pasta.
no. <laughs> if that is a narcissism, I don't know what is. This one is... Oh, the suction boot. What's this one? Oh yeah, that's that's just that switch. Might be like a window or something having broken. Yeah, there's that stuff. Oof. Oof. Switches up to which floor? Or four. Oh, I probably can. Oof. I probably can enter through one of these windows. Also, here's a warpath. Light pad. I guess I never thought of coming all the way up here. that I can bust through. And then let me look through here. Oh, and only one of those stacks is um, going. Okay. Floor 5, finally. Here is a ledge. Ooh. I don't trust that guy. I don't trust that that purple one down there. Seems like a seems like a minjo. Oh, and there's that happy little, happy little rabbit dude that we helped out. Through here? Oh yeah, that's for... Oh, that's it. That is a Jinjo. Okay. Yeah, that's for, uh... Washers only. Okay, I get it, dude. No need to rub your happiness in my face. Some people are like that, right? Some people, they just love to rub their happiness all over your face. They, even as they know you're suffering. So I guess I have to go back out that window and then go in through the other window since I can't uh, take that little path over there. Oy. This game's 
like it's pretty forgiving. I think it's like pretty forgiving, like how when you die, barely anything resets. Whereas in the first Banjo Kazooie, I kept dying and I kept having my note totals reset, and it was it was really getting to me. Ugh, just slightly off. I mean, that's just... That's games, and that's life. Things are always trying to kill you. Every... At every turn. Sometimes you go to the DMV, you just want to get your license renewed. And the lady at the DMV, she pulls out a Glock, and she's like, Not today. Not today. I'm missing these screws. There we go. Ah. I guess this is some kind of weird shortcut to floor four. We can't. Oh, here's a f here's a jump pad. So where would I be jumping to? Sometimes I. Sometimes I need this game's camera to work with me. And it really does not want to. Uh, let's see. How can I get to that? Sticky. There. Oh, maybe... That doesn't make any sense. I was thinking, maybe if we go down here, right? We can use the jump pad. You jump back up, and maybe it's like super high this time, for no reason at all. But no, it's just like a weird shortcut. There's like no... there's no ledge leading to this jiggy, right? Not that I can see. Not that I can see. So yes, I can go all the way across there. I can drop down to there. How does that help me? I don't I don't know how that helps me. Let's look for more windows or what have you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can I do anything about these fans? I bust open these fans? No, I don't think so. Oh, 
Are there more than just those two breakable windows? And I can't break these types of windows, right? I don't imagine so. Yeah, they have to be those really, really clear ones. But maybe if I go up some of these smoke tacks? patch over here. I wonder if I'm supposed to like eat bomb into it. Uh -oh. Yes! Yes! Something. Where am I? Floor three. Ow. Is this a ninja? Is this a ninja? No, it's a ginger. I didn't expect fortune to smile upon me. Hmm. Is this all it has going for it? Just to access this ginger? can't get back up. That's okay, I could use a warp pad there if I really need to. The hell's right, buddy. The hell's right. Sometimes I hear. <laughs> Sometimes I hear Banjo speaking to me. He's like, "Guh," and I'm like, "Ah, he... you said it, brother. You said it." So suspicious. I just keep wanting to put something in this hole, but like, what do we do with it? Like, I've tried blasting eggs into it, but the hole doesn't react. I think I've also tried blasting like ice eggs into this one. Just to see if I can make the fire subside. But no. Okay, let's find a warp pad and get our way up. To the very top of the roof again. Oh. 
Oh man, I'm lower in health than I thought I was. <laughs> okay. It's a good thing I picked up that health. Where's the nearest war pad? On the first floor. There's not a war pad outside, is there? Oh, there's a war pad right here. Okay. Let me try going up, looking at these smoke stacks. Oh, there's an extra honeycomb piece. Nothing, that's what it had. Alright. Now let's see. Are there any of these side windows can be broken or otherwise messed with? No. Oh, uh. <laughs> I'm gonna check out that that little area that we unscrewed the plate and it brought us down to the fourth floor. I didn't really see a reason for that, but maybe there is a reason. Maybe there is a reason. You know, what can I say, you know? Sometimes Banjo... Banjo-Kazooie works in mysterious ways. <laughs> Most of the time there is a reason. That's right! Is this the area I'm thinking of? No, I don't think so. I think I have to go through the other window. Sometimes. I have setbacks in life. And I'm just like, ah. Is there a reason? And probably the reason 
is so that everything would lead me here to playing Banjo Tooie. Probably that's why I've had any any and all setbacks in life. It is all necessary to get me here. So we're here. Yes, this is the crush. Oh, this is like one of those paths, I remember. This is one of those paths I couldn't access before. And here I can split up. And then here. Wait, no, no, no. What? Oh, I can split up. That way, um, Kazooie jumps much higher. Or Banjo jumps higher. They both- Oh my god! They both jump higher. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. It's not that hard to get up here. I don't know. It's just, you know, sometimes Kazooie, she's just too fat. Oi! I was just about to say, Kazooie, sometimes she's just too fast for her own good. Ah, uh, no, I didn't want to get in your backpack, man. So. Kazooie is kind of like Banjo's Pokemon. He's his, uh, uh... Kazooie is... His, uh... Pikachu equivalent. The reason for this... Fox? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we did it. Oi. What do you what do you want, Charles Manson? What is it that you want? I want to fly around more on the outside. I feel like I'm still missing stuff on that outside part. Whoa. Oh, the boss fight in this area? I'll eventually get to it. I'll eventually get to it. leads to first floor, right? Oh, second floor. Oh, this is where I unscrew. So bad at aiming it. Jeez. There we go. Now we can access that final rabbit. Oh. 
anything else in here while we're at it? Nope. the jiggy that I couldn't access before or no this is just something that I already got thinking about this, but I keep not being able to access it. Okay. Whoa! <laughs> that's not what I meant to do at all. I don't know what I meant to do, but that's not what I meant to do. Okay, now it's finally time. Wash that dude's stuff. Wumba's house is over here, right? Yes. Wumba. Chumba Wumba. I wonder if her name or if I wonder if any of those names like Chumba Wumba and Humba Wumba if they're related or something. Chumba Wumba is like an Irish uh, band, I think. And you know, Rare is British, so any relation, any common uh, inspiration? I don't know. Boy, jeez. There we go. Yeah. These dudes are so dirty. They're so filthy. That's the whole team's overalls washed. We'd like you to have this. All right, we did it. We washed all their clothes. <laughs> Another chapter in the Book of Banjo. Close. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> that one. I'm trying to think. We have a. Uh... We still don't. Wait. Okay. I think there's still like the watery area that we haven't been able to go through. Maybe I need a skill from another world. To do it. Oh wait, I can't use that service. This leads me where? Oh, just down to the first floor. Okay, okay. I got it. Oh, also the notes. There are just some notes in this... This first floor that we haven't gotten. Yes, it, they're right there. They're right behind, below us. Is that all of them? Yes, that's all the notes. Okay. Is there any reason why this is kind of like hollow? I don't think so. But yes, the air con plant, that's what it is. And it has like a bunch of like water in it, doesn't it not? Yeah, it has that water. It's a toxic waste or whatever. I might have to go to a different world and get another ability to do with this. I remember something like that being the case. And where does this lead? Oh, this leads like behind one of the fans, and then I got some something. I got something. Waste this world of time. Can I get to there? Oh, it's not letting us go there. Uh, we have to set, set off this fan. Oh, and there's a Jiggy up there. Yes. Is there a switch that I'm missing? Probably. How about on this side? Am I missing anything on this side? No. Okay, let's go through this tunnel again and then let's see if we can figure things out. Now, there is this gigantic spinning thing. Don't know if we can do anything about that. We can go into this toxic waste. Um, why would we want to? I have no idea. Here. 
here. Air Depot. Okay, so we've got the repair depot. I think we already did stuff in here, did we not? Yeah, it's got another one of these spinning things. And at the bottom, <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Oh, whoa. Huh? What on earth is that? I think it looks like an enormous toilet cleaner. Well, he doesn't seem to be very mobile. See how that poor three thing struggles to get in here? This shouldn't be much trouble, then. Weldar, visually impaired welding torch. Ahem. I believe it states quite clearly in the worker's guidelines that bears are not to be let into the building. So? Well, you're a bear, aren't you? Er, no. Though, I must remember to wear my glasses. Well, I'm out now, so I might as well go to work on you. Let's look around, let's look around. Time to turn up the power dial, I think. Oh, you have to come closer. I can't see you. Whoa. I would bet we'd have to do something with that lever. That dial. What have you. Get my kazooie out. Yeah, 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 yeah. It wants me to use eggs. Does it want me to, like, make it so it sucks up these eggs? Probably. I'm about to die. Oh, I thought that if I pooped out an egg, it would suck up the egg. But it won't. It's- Oh! <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, it starts me all the way out here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I'm supposed to shoot it with the eggs instead of just popping it out my back. I wonder if I just never went into that room or if I did something to unlock that box. I probably just never went into that room. Where are? Where is it? Yeah, it's down these stairs. Maybe after we defeat it, those little spinny tubes, maybe they'll slow down. Or maybe that's j oh, that's just wishful thinking. I can't believe I missed it. 
<laughs> I can't believe I just missed that. Are you a bear? Yes. And you're heading for the recycling plant. Time to turn up the power. Dial, I think. Yeah, that's why I figured, Charles Manson. Only, I'm not really safe unless I'm um, in one of these corners. There we go. Is it the only the corners give me enough distance to actually shoot? Please refrain from doing that. I'm full of flammable gas. Do I have to defeat these? Maybe. No! I thought I could make it. Before he sucked me out. There we go. Perhaps if I use my weight a little more. Don't make me come after you. Hey Rifsioku, how are you? Okay, there we go. This isn't going as planned. Where's my emergency switch located? That's better. Now let's see how nimble you are. Oh no! Oh, you just got finished adding chapters to your nuts and bolts vod from yesterday. Oh, I see. I'm too lazy to do anything <laughs> with my vod. Well, there's probably the hardest boss in the game, really? Not even the final boss is harder? Yeah, I like it too, but I don't know. I'm just lazy. I'm just lazy.
Oh, so it says it's got six health, I guess. Oh, come on, that should have hit him. How about a few nuts and bolts? A lot of people didn't like that game. Some people like that game. But <laughs> Not everyone did. Perhaps if I... Oh my boy. This isn't going as planned. Where's my emergency switch located? Uh, yes, it is from Smash. Oi! <laughs> Stand in the corner, then jump over and shoot the grenade at him. Yeah, in the corners, it he seems to have much more difficulty sucking you. <laughs> just one of the problems is I just find it hard to dodge all the electricity and everything. There we go. It is weird that this toilet... This toilet cleaner... Has this little center part. I think like toilet snakes usually... Their deal is... Oof, no no no. Like, they're just like spiral little things at the top or at the end, right? Toilet snakes? I'm not sure why this is full of gases and such. He's a welding torch? Oh, was the toilet cleaner thing just a... Uh... 
Just a joke, a little gag. What have you? A little jest. No! Oh no! No! I was so close, I was so close, I was close. I was like, this far away. I was like, as far as my two fingers were just now. You couldn't see them, but my fingers were not very close. They were not very far. They were almost touching. Grunty's Revenge has Grunty's Industries? No, I didn't know that. I don't know anything about Grunty's Revenge. I just assumed it had like... I don't know. Maybe all original levels? I don't know why I went that far. It was back there. Grunty's Foundry though, because it's a, there's a Jiggy Forge in it. Wait, she forges the Jiggies? I thought Jiggies just existed. I mean, for the first game, that kind of makes sense because it unlocks all the levels inside her... ...inside her little tower. But for the second game... ...you're using the Jiggies for the puzzles that the... ...that the, the Jinjo guy has. Which, I guess, do unlock places like... Related to Grunty. <laughs> Jiggy Wiggy is cursed and can't touch Jiggy. Really? This isn't going as planned. Oh well. Looks like my welding days are over. First try, that's right. <laughs> I guess he is a welder. <laughs> he is called Weldar. Be 
basement conditioning. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yes, finally, the fan stopped spinning. Groan. I appear to be quite badly injured. That's too bad. Now where's our prize? Die. I guess I can let you have this. Is that all we get? You gotta be kidding. You may use it to get back out. I stashed my jiggy behind a giant fan for safekeeping. But there's nothing to stop you from reaching it now. Do. When will I learn to keep my big mouth shut? You seem to loot, like, you seem to use grenade eggs for, like, everything. There's some other stuff. What? What other stuff? Anything useful? Oh, okay. Are you a big fan of Weldar? Six stone? Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, now I can get across there. And that's like a Cheeto scroll. Your favorite boss is Mr. Patch. Was he the one inside the, uh... Inside the circus tent that we had to, like... Beat up all his patches? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, he was... I found that boss kind of difficult, but... He's kind of cool. He's a neat little guy. You know, I love... Whenever people patch up things instead of throwing it out... And buying a new one. Your least favorite is Lord Wu Fok Fok. Is that the fish? Yeah, the the swim mechanic's not that. I don't know. Underwater combat is not that smooth. Let's see. I can separate Baron Bird. So let's do that. Wrong one. Wrong key. I've been here? I might have been on the other side. Yeah, two jiggies for the price of one. Good deal. Good deal. Is that it? Yep, looks like it. I think I've got... There are just two jiggies and one ginger remaining. I'm probably good to exit. <laughs> yeah, but if you lived in NYC, then those 
you know, those millions of pizza places, they would be like super expensive, would they not? Yeah, sometimes I hear I hear about people like paying like eight dollars a slice or some or some like crazy highway robbery, and it's like eight dollars for one slice. You can't live off that. No, man, I need like I know an entire pizza for cheap. Rent where your sister lives is 400 a month? Wow. Is it rent controlled? I've never heard of rent ever being that cheap anywhere. Unless like, you're splitting the cost. He owns her house. Really cheap, like thirty thousand. Wow. Was it like a fixer upper, or was it like already like good to go? Oh. 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 The sewer line and AC were broke, but that was it. One previous owner, too. Hmm. Is the location just really bad? Or what? On the side of a small mountain in Kentucky, 30 miles from a town. Okay, wow. I can see why it's so cheap then. No, that's not where I'm at. up here get this corner piece this one goes down here oh wait no it's in the corner i wonder if like anyone ever runs out of time on these things Give you a lot of time for how small these puzzles are. All your moving puzzles were broken. I'm using, uh, Temple 64. Jiggy Wiggy's Temple. Thanks, Charles Manzer. Behold, the power of the mighty Jiggy Wiggy.
I create like a little bubble. I guess that lifts us up to somewhere else. You do not have enough jiggies to attempt challenge nine. Come back later when you do. How many do I have in the fire and ice place? Oh, I only have two jiggies there, so I guess I should hold, go over to the Hailfire Peak. Pick the banner behind him. Walk through it? Jinjo house? Witchy world is where fortune may smile upon you. An egg container fall wait what? An egg container followed by a jingling? The answers Did I? An egg container followed by a jingling. Are these for like secret power-ups and stuff like that? I think I remember someone telling me to get on the roof of a jingle. House. I already have the dragon. Yeah, you've been watching it stream with your eyes closed. It, it's a it's a mistake a lot of people make. Third sign isn't as obvious. Egg container followed by a jingling. What is a jingling? I don't even... <laughs> I don't know what a jingling is. is it... hmm. Team jingling. Not here. Oh, there, there we are. That's Hellfire Peace. Gave you my- the first Jiggy. Oh, I remember him. Yes, he's a zombie now. Head, what's in his head? Zombie, zombie, and the tanks and the guns. You, you remember that song? Yeah. Bad Wolves version. I don't know that version. Oh, I, I, I never rescued that alien. Let's see. 
I'm even missing uh, a globy. I remember going down there and being like a little bit stuck. Oh, and I remember. Oh, come on, guy. Mildred Ice Cube? No, I have not. Also, I'm about to die. I have not. Mildred Ice Cube. Is she hot? Is she really stacked? She's very friendly. Don't assume she's the Ice Cube and he's an attacker. Oh, okay. <laughs> I never anyone's ever told that guy he has an annoying laugh. I <laughs> give Crystal is that ice cube. Whoa. I can only imagine all the deranged fan art. Gorn took Crystal to prom with him. He got a little cutout of Crystal and then took it as his prom date. Can I kill this guy? It's a can. Stand by bigger foot. His foot. <laughs> Packs quite a wallop, doesn't it? I'm real proud of my enormous foot. Gotta wait for Chilly Willy again. I've got to have the projectile thing come at him. Oh, okay. Oons. Oons. Ooh, ah. My poor enormous foot. Where's the first aid kit? Huh. Now I can defeat Chilly Willy. <laughs> Oi, come on, dude. Come on, man. Is that a way to treat a fellow mate? Just chucking things at him. Chilly Willy and Chilly Billy are so annoying. Are they bosses? Or are they just like things? We 
because I know like some of the things that shoot fire at you are just like things above doors and they respawn if you like kill them. This reminds me of the bird place, like the, the pterodactyl nest in the in pterodactyl land. Ah, at last, you must be the pizza delivery boy. No, just the local jiggy hunters. Lies. I bet you've got my 12-foot anchovy deluxe in that backpack. Afraid not, work face. Then I'll eat you instead. That feeble egg won't hurt my icy body. Okay. Aye, it burns. Let me have just a little taste. Oof. Oh no. That's all he does. Doesn't seem that hard. Why is Banjo's shell so fixly? I don't know. Maybe, maybe he's a masochist. Maybe that's what he's into. Maybe this is like those guys that want you to stomp on them with their with your high heel. I'm sure my brother still want his. Now, which way is it to the fly through Majiggies? McJiggies. Is this gonna hurt me if I get in? Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay. You know, a smaller body just means that you need less energy to maintain yourself. Already, a lot of energy is probably being expended, you know, keeping his big fat brain working. Ice balls. Oh, I see. I kind of expected to get a jakey out of that, though. But yeah, let's see. Uh, 
Ah, Chili Billy has this. It's the same weakness. I mean, puzzle. Let's see. And that's a Minjo. Am I not? Am I correct? Seems like a Minjo. Oh, no, no, no. It's not. It, there's just like a bunch of, uh... Wind. Okay. Go up here. Where will take me? The minjos and nuts and bolts don't hit you. They just run and laugh. Are Minjos... And Nuts and Bolts is just the racing game, right? Are Minjos also racers? <laughs> Jinjos are. What are Minjos? Just like... They're just like, uh, something to fill out the environments? A little more than a racing game. There's escort missions and stuff. Oof. Oh, come on now. Okay, here we go. Well, they only exist in the hub world, so what do you do in the hub world? Nothing? Just like get from place to place? Lava train station. Away! Bro. Bruv. Look up. Oh, the llama. Or camel. Have I ever seen a baby alpaca? No. I don't know why I did this. Why are they weird looking? Yes, many newborns. Cross species just look absolutely alien. Where does this put me? Oh, it puts me all the way over here. <laughs> That's fine. Fine, honestly. I can't believe I fell down. Jeez. Am I somewhere useful here? Oh, yes, I am. This is basically where I was, right? No, no, this is one. This isn't where I was. I was just tricked by this, uh, split up pad. Oh, it's kind of close to where I was. Yeah. I think that. Usually, links will work. 
I don't have any restrictions on links right now. I don't believe so, anyway. You have most links lo blocked. <laughs> I've gotten like a few of those. I've gotten like two or three of those, but they don't usually put links. Uh, well, maybe they do, and I just don't remember. But yeah. Let's try not. Please, not my precious water again. What's going on? a piece of the puzzle. Just water. That's what I was trying to do. I was trying to burn him alive, but yeah, maybe I should push him to his death. I don't think I can push him. Maybe I should have to. Maybe I need to get the train over here somehow. No, no, no. No, Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia. I'm not letting him die on purpose. I should go along the train tracks or if I should yeah the train tracks work I was wondering if I should go in that floating platform not floating but that raised platform I got that. Oh. Oui. <laughs> oh. Go huh.
Let's go over to... I don't know. Have I been to the other side of that train station? Before? I don't know if I have. You never had bear, free, bear meat, but you heard it's pretty good. Yeah, I've never had bear meat either, but I've never heard of anyone eating bear meat. I don't know if it tastes really gamey or whatever. Seems like it might, I don't know. One of the things I was thinking about ooh, trying one day is horse meat. Whoa. Oh, yes, I can get up here. Let me try getting over there. Fire, ice, and meta? What, what does that mean? What are you getting at, Shinsong? I'm not the world's biggest, uh... Beef eater. I eat it, but like I don't. <laughs> I'm not like a crazy fan of beef. Okay. What was even the point of getting over here? They give me eggs. Am I supposed to use eggs on something? Duffy is on freight service to Grunty Industries. Right wall. Uh, I wonder if you're just talking about where the... I wonder if you're just talking about where the... Uh, the honeycomb used to be. All the structures on the fire site imply that at one point this was not an active volcano. Oh yeah. Seems so oh, whoa. Seems so. Okay.
Remember the room with the Roman numerals? You think the train switch is there? Oh. Room with the Roman numerals? I don't even remember that. I don't remember anything about a room with no numerals. There were buttons I had to press and even every time a new part of land rose from the lava. Oh! I think I vaguely remember that. Do I actually do? Because I kind of remember that, but it's ice. Fun fact about Grunty's Revenge. The music in Grunty industry is like an industrial pterodactyl land or something. Okay. I don't even remember the pterodactyl land theme. <laughs> Let's see. We can go up there. We've already been up there. That's that takes us to Chili Willy. We've been kind of over here-ish before, I think. You bought an Alexa and a smart light solely so you don't have to get up and turn the light on and off. You know, there was like a news story that Amazon actually lost a lot of money with their Alexas. Because, you know, Alexas are sold... They're so cheaper than it costs to make them. But that's because Amazon figured that people would be making all these orders on their Alexas. And... This isn't actually what I wanted to do. I wanted to split up. And it turned out, like, people weren't making enough orders on their Alexas to justify... I mean, to, to have the books balance out, you know? Oh. Yeah, but does the Alexa love you? Does Does the Alexa provide the warmth of a human touch. If you dated a meteorologist, your meteorologist partner could tell you the weather. And also bring home some of the bacon, you know. You know those meteorologists, they're always living high on the hog. Six <laughs> Donor, you have an Alexa? I don't have any of the... The home assistants. Uh, I can press B to stop the shoes. I think I knew that, but I just forgot it. No! No. No, sir. It's okay, I can just go get the shoes. I did see, like, another section where I could possibly... 
go up, but I think that's in 6 minutes, so he really does not. Yeah, I think this just takes me to Chili Willy. Maybe... Aw, oh, come on, dude. Maybe someday you'll buy another N64 and mod it so you can use HDMI with it. How much are N64s nowadays? Not very expensive, right? I feel like priciness generally comes with uh, things that are more obscure, and I feel like there were just a bunch that were manufactured, so probably not very expensive. 150. Come on, dude. Am I even doing something worthwhile? I don't even know. You bought your 360 for $80 five years ago. How much were N64s when they were new? Were they like $300 or something like that? Two hundred dollars, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. Did I already get this? I think what happened is is one of those things where I could fly and I think I flew over there and got it. Okay. We did see like an alien somewhere. Somewhere in this area, something with aliens. near Wombas? I don't even know if we found... I don't think we found Wombas in this, uh... in this world yet. Can I go in here? That switch looks rusty. You'll need more weight. More weight, huh? Have I found Mumbo's? I think that I have. Maybe? I don't know. I don't... Maybe I haven't. between Mumbo's and Wumba's, so if I find one, I can go to the other. Okay. Where am I now? I'm up here, but why? Why would I want to be up here? What's the point? What's the point of being up here? Oh, 
I see. Come on now. Oh yes, there's an extra honeycomb piece. Oh. 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 You missed this one and you had to look it up. I guess I'm just built different. I guess I'm just... A mad lad. An expert gamer. Okay. So I reach back here. Up there, I don't know how to break through that ice yet. Probably had something to do with like maybe a transformation. <laughs> This thing's just a drill. Oh. Nothing in. Oh. Oh. No, nothing. That's just. That's nothing. That's just the texture. It's just darker in that texture. Oh. Can't open that with bombs. Hey, that time it actually worked in my favor. This is the ice grotto, is it not? Yeah, it's the icicle grotto. I've been in here before. for us to split up. Wait, what's down here? Have I been down here? I don't think I have, actually. No, I haven't. I, I just always miss this alley. Can I break this? Hey, young man, I'm Mildred Icegue, but I seem to have misplaced my husband, George. There was this terrible blizzard, and he was whisked off into the sky. So? Isn't it obvious? I want you to go and look for him. Masher! Oh, hey, Alistair Human. I, I remember you. You're in, like, uh, Rift Yoku streams. He tweeted to come watch me? Why? Boggy's igloo. Let's get a little bit of health here. I guess the... The polar bear. 
Whoa. What is this? I don't understand. What am I looking at right now? Okay, I think I... I thought that... This was... Someone that was like really stacked. Like, I thought there was just like... I thought those were like huge melons. But no, no, no. Now that I see the two dots up there... That's where the chest is. And then I guess this is... Someone wearing underwear, I guess. And that's the stitching for the underwear. That little... Those three little lines in the middle. Mr. Pants for the GameCube. Is that a game? Hello, Baki. Take a look at my new widescreen TV. It's got loads of features. I'm sure it has. It has, actually. 100 hertz scanning. Dolby 5.1 surround sound. 9,999 channels. Something me on. Oh, sorry. But it's got no online shopping. And I'm hu really hungry. Sai, what do you want? A big hot fish would be great. A big hot fish, huh? Don't bears usually eat their... F they usually eat their fish pretty cold, don't they? I don't... He should be acclimated for this weather, so I don't think he would... ...really care about warming up. Oh, hey! One of his kids has a Banjo-Kazooie blanket. I wonder if Banjo-Kazooie get any cut from <laughs> their likeness being used on blankets. Nothing down here? What if I blast that? No. This the painting looked a little suspicious, that's why. Huh? Gah? Huh? Okay, so he wants a big old fish. Where are his children? Oh, did I find Mrs. Boggy's kids? Yes, I did. I did. Do I need to talk to them again after... something? I don't know. I found her kids, though. I found all her kids. I remember this. Don't hurt Mildred. Ah, uh, here's a mumble pad. I suppose the mumble pad opens up this way. What's this? What's this? Mega Globo save. Oh, yeah, I guess. Oh. Dang, I can't melt him. A Globo? It's a miserable pile of secrets. That's what Mega Globo is. That's what a Globo is. Oh yeah, this hurts me. This hurts me. Oh man. Who I see. Uh, 
How do I get back? How do I get anywhere? Please, dude. I can walk along the shore. Oh, I see. Yeah, she's a dragon. Got that COVID. Do birds get COVID? Maybe. I know cats do. Maybe she's got that bird flu instead. I do think, like, birds are a little bit more susceptible to disease. Because of, uh, um... Because they have hollow bones. And... A surprising amount of your immune system has to do with uh, your bone marrow and your and your bone density and stuff like that. I wonder if this is one of those things where I have to be heavier. My bones are constantly wet. Probably. Probably I could have figured that. I think like um Aren't your bones like lined with Your bones are lined with uh Nerves and stuff And that Carries with it some Some juices or whatever Hmm. Man, you really care about this, Mildred. Do you have like a Mildred body pillow or something? A Mildred mouse pad? Oh, there we go. Hey, it's the alien. I love, I love like onions and garlic and all that, but <laughs> sometimes that stuff like overstays its welcome. Like what after I eat all that, like it really just, it lasts through multiple brushings. Anything up here? And I love onions. Banner to the left. You have Globo. Want to give to Humba? Yes. There's a secret. In the left banner? 
Mommy, sorry, mommy. What is that thing? Evo Rafa says that too. He says, mommy, sorry. Blah, 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 blah. Oh. Great path to Mumbo's. Okay. Oh, it's a meme when I see a hot woman. That's what I kind of figured, but what is it from? But yeah, Evil Rafa says that all the time. He says, Mommy, sorry, Mommy, sorry, all the time. Is there. You speaking English. Okay, Evil Rafa's. Uh, it depends on if you're streaming when I'm done. Yes, I did know the Navajo language was used in World War II. Move and hold B for a big heat roll attack. Oh, I recover health. Wow. Oh, you mean her... You mean the audio? I was just talking about the text. Everyone goes... Ooh, 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 in like, these games. No one actually says what's in the text. That's what everyone says. If I were a banjo character, what would I sound like? Uh, probably like... I don't know, something like that. I wonder how I... Now, let me look around for a way to get up. This is a mumbo pad. We would need mumbo here. Oh, maybe I use this fire to melt? And then I can get up higher. I have to go in the wa- I may have to go in the water. Was that before? Huh. Can't seem to. Where am I? 
I can't seem to find my way over to that water. Because I'm too big. I can get the Jinjo now. Oh yeah, because I am very big and heavy. Can I get it now? Can I get bigger? No, I can't. I think this is the max size of the bee. Okay, I got it. You hate that Jinjo? Why? What that Jinjo ever do to you? Can I get? Oh, yes I do. I can. But this isn't... This doesn't help me because I can't get up here. Anything to do here? His family is racist? I can believe it. All the Jinjos are separated by color. I can believe that there's some Jinjo racism. Hmm. I wonder if there's anything we need to do in the Icicle Grotto as this snowball. <laughs> I can't enter. It's simply too large. Ain't that the story of my life? It's like a... <laughs> it's like when you try to go on an airplane and they're like... Sir, you gotta buy... You gotta buy another ticket. It's like, but I am only one human man. And they're like, no sir, you're not human. <gasps> you are a snowball. Would I like a hint? Ooh, I don't know. Where am I now? I can teleport, though. So... I assume that's good for something. I go up here. Yeah. They wouldn't let me teleport as a as a washing machine. They were like, washing machines can't teleport. Are you crazy? It's just because they want to force me to use the service elevator. That's one train switch. Let's see, are there multiple train switches? Oi. One for each side. I see. this way. Whee. I fell down. I can try and go to the ice station now. Let's do that. <laughs> Okay, so I see. 
When I lose health, I become smaller. When I gain health, I become bigger. And vice versa. Can I drill through this? No, I can't. Also, was there a globo near her? I don't think I ever looked. those yet. That's the solution. Spells written by Humba Wumba. I need to mumboize the alien. Uh I don't know where Globo is exactly. side of the ice wall. Uh, let's check it out, I guess. Oh, maybe it's a... Yes. Maybe I have to go up there and I have to climb on top. Because I don't think I've done that yet. Like, there's that little gap, but I don't think I've gone to that other side. Oh, there we go. There it is. Oh, oi. That is not what I meant to do. Even though I directly went to the ocean, it might have seemed like I meant to do that, but I didn't mean to do that. I would never torture Banjo like that. He's just a normal man. He's just an innocent man. Okay, so now I can head over to Mumbo. Do I think Kazooie would taste good? Probably. A lot of poultry tastes good. Just in general. Oh, this isn't what I meant to do. <sighs> What kind of bird is Kazooie? I don't even know. But yeah, I, I favor poultry, specifically chicken, over other meats. A Briegel. Oh yes, I think I remember this. I think it came up somewhere. Do I plan on playing Grunty's Revenge after this? I have no idea. I haven't heard many people, like, actually talk about it like it's good. It's not? It's not good? What? Mumbo, not welcome. Leave now or be in big heap trouble. Uh, 
Okay, so I guess I have to do a mumbo switch. It's potential and it's obvious, but it shouldn't have been a GBA game. Hmm. Can you not grab onto that ledge? Close not. Yeah, the GBA is not... It wasn't very powerful, and I don't think it was very suited for... platformers, despite, you know, it having a bunch of platformers. Grunty enslaved all the Breagles and forced them to build her tower. How are you gonna have a bird build a tower? I don't understand. They don't have... You don't have hands to do, like, the fine, the fine details and all that. Okay, I can head over there. I can go over here. Where am I here? Where am I here? What is any of this? The mumbo pad music from It Groovy? What is It's Groovy? Oh, from it! The mumble pad music from Grunty's Revenge. Okay. I thought It's Groovy was like some... Like rhythm game or something. That... Uh, that had like mumble... I mean, not... Uh, Banjo-Kazooie music in it. Grunty's Revenge takes 20 pla- Takes place 20 years before Banjo-Kazooie. Oh, I see. So it's the late 70s. I get it. Okay, I get it now. Because I was thinking, how could Grunty get her revenge? Because... Between 1 and 2... Grunty is, like... Stuck dead. Starts out two months after Banjo Kazooie. Hongo <laughs> uses a spell to remove her ghost and it makes. A mech suit? And then what? Does she travel through time? Like in Kingdom Hearts or Xehanort? Because in Kingdom Hearts, if you remove your heart from your body, then you can, uh... Then you can transport yourself across time. Oh, I think there's like another ramp for me to go up right there. Like near Mumbo, n near Humba's, Wumba's Wigwam. Humba Wumba, that's her name. Mumbo sends Banjo back to stop her. Oh, Grunty travels 20 years in the past to stop Ban Kazooie and Banjo from meeting. And Mumbo sends Banjo to stop her from stopping them. Okay. I see, so it is like Kingdom Hearts, a little bit, a little bit, a tiny bit. Life Force, Alien Dad. Big Drop Hurt Lots. Where am I? You dead. Mumbo used powerful shaman magic. You alive. 
didn't need puny earthling magic, could have used special powers instead. Face man ungrateful, waste mumbles time. Me should teach lesson. Sorry, strange friend. My special powers are low, and we need your help. Our three children escaped the ship before we crashed in the lagoon. If you can find and return them to me safely, I'll bestow the earth with wondrous gifts. Mumbo likes gifts, not tacky alien merchandise though. Kids will be hiding from danger until they detect alien signal. Mumbo impressed, but Mumbo magic better. Okay, so now these aliens have spawned. They probably just give jiggies or something, right? That's probably what they do. That's what everyone does. They just give a jiggy or something. So I'm guessing now we're able to drill through if we so choose. Let me look for... Oi. That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> I, I'm trying to look, away, look for a way back to... The big open area. The big main lobby of the ice world, if you, if you will. I can also teleport. But I don't know a place I need to teleport to right now. There's only two mumble pads in this world? Aww. I see. Wow, Mumbo really can't grab onto ledges, huh? That's just a special power that Banjo has. Okay, 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 okay. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I think there might be a mumble pad in the lava side. Somewhere. I think I remember something like that. Oof. <laughs> yeah. That's fine. It's heavily implied that Grunty stole the castle from King Jingling, as there's a giant stone ginger head on the ground where her lair is. I see. In Grunty's revenge, at least. That would kind of explain. Why those Jinjo statues just raise up from the ground um, when you're fighting Grunty on the roof of her tower? It's interesting, but it doesn't uh, it doesn't explain why you need to fill their eggs of whole. I mean. Fill their holes of eggs 
in order to summon those Jinjos. What do Jinjos have to do with eggs? I bet I could head into that icy water if I split up and then brought Banjo over. What's wrong with it? Beats me. You could try beak to mouth resuscitation. Urgh. No chance. Then this is a job for a professionally qualified doctor. I wonder if we'll have to get Mumbo back. Uh, probably we have to get Mumbo back. He is a kind of a doctor. He's like a witch doctor. I believe he did use curing magic on one of those dinos. He probably is well qualified. A doctor in the sense that you're a doctor? What sense are you a doctor? None? Is that what you're trying to get at? Listen, we should respect folk medicine. We should respect the old ways. You never know. You never know. Maybe one day, you're... I don't know, maybe one day you're gonna be struggling, right? You're gonna be sick with pneumonia, and all there is is a witch doctor. And all... All he can do for you is crack some chicken bones over your forehead. You have an honorary doctorate in divinity? Why? From a college? I thought only celebrities got... I thought only celebrities... ...got honorary degrees. Play pad somewhere around here, right? I remember something like that. funny is that like I've heard like people who um I've heard a podcast of like uh some some Jewish podcasters right and they were just talking about how <laughs> so frequently they'd run into like rabbis that just did not believe God existed. And they were just like, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. If he exists, eh, whatever. <laughs> and it's like, why? <laughs> what, what, what's the point in being a rabbi then? Just in it for the fat sex. I mean, I guess you choose a career path. And you just... It's hard to switch over, you know? It's hard to make that change. But I don't know. Maybe it's more so about, like, preserving some kind of tradition. But you can do that as, like, not a rabbi. Hmm. 
Nicholas D. Wolfwood. Your cross is heavy and you don't believe the God. Oh. Is that the dude from uh, Trigon? I never remember his name, but I do remember that he has a big old cross. I haven't watched that much of Trigon. I only am familiar with the love and peace thing and Vash the Stampede and there's like a girl there. Her name's like Millie or something? I don't know. There's a new series currently airing. It's not the original, but it's not bad. Let's see. Is there going to be... Oh, no! There's a new series... Okay, it, uh, that's more the manga, at least. Oh, okay. Yeah, I figured... That maybe... It would be more faithful. Because that's... A lot of times when... There's a newer series... Like, it's because the old series was before the source material finished. <laughs> and so, um, the new series is just so that they can stick closer to the source material. Now that it is finished. Or farther long. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Where is it we want to go? Let's go to the eyesight upper area. Are we at the end? I have We're not at the end. <laughs> We're not at the end, Gorn. If there's one thing I know, is that we're not at that end. Okay, let me split up Bear and Bird. The original anime was absolutely amazing, but it's definitely its own thing. It's a solid 10 out of 10 series, but the new one is also kind of its own thing. I'll finish this game eventually. <laughs> you don't find... You don't find Banjo-Tooie gripping? Nuts and Bolts should have been its own franchise. Didn't people really like, uh, Diddy Kong Racing? Why couldn't Nuts and Bolts just be Diddy Kong Racing 2 or something like that? Or maybe Diddy Kong Racing 2 already exists. I have no idea. I need to go back up there somehow. Banjo 2 is your favorite banjo game? I. Boy. Mm, I still prefer. I still prefer Banjo Tooie over Banjo Kazooie. 
I think there's something about the mechanics that I think are a little bit more refined and there's just more abilities and stuff like that. But the worlds are like incredibly large. They are almost maybe too large. Okay, so let's head into that ocean. Ooh. It's a bit worse on the N64. Munchie's Revenge worlds are too small. Wait, is there any point to being in this water? There's no point. There's no, po there's no point. Here's one of the alien dudes. But I don't have Kazooie with me. Jeez. You wonder how they ended up under the ice? I think they were probably like real wet. They were probably already really wet. And then when they fell, all the... All that just, uh, just froze. It's like playing Sonic 06 on a 360 emulator. And it fixes the largest problem with the game. You tried the 360 emulator, that's why you bought and catch a car and a new power supply for yours. Oh. Hmm. Sonic... Sonic 06 is... Wasn't its largest problem just to that... Just that its load screens were too long? Like, it just had incredibly long loading screens. I don't remember what, but I remember her. <laughs> I remember some game that I played just having the longest loading screens ever and it didn't need to. And it was like just in the past few years, but I can't remember what it was. Ah, jeez. Sonic Boom? No, I haven't played Sonic Boom personally. I feel like it must have been... Oh, here's another mumble pad. Okay. Uh, I feel like it must have been something similar to... Maybe... Hi, Briggs! How are you doing? It's alright because I needed, um, I need to get to Mumbo anyway. Was it Kingdom Hearts 3, maybe? Because... I remember Kingdom Hearts 3 loading screens were not, like, crazy short. Mm -hmm. 
You never once played a Kingdom Hearts game? I am... I'm sort of a Kingdom Hearts enthusiast. But, uh... Let's... That does not mean that I think all the Kingdom Hearts games are good. Or that the story's good. <laughs> or that the characters are well written. I just love, like, the ridiculousness of it all. I was definitely a PlayStation kid. Oh yeah, this is just... This is just the way up and down. Okay. I thought it had something to do with the train, but it doesn't. Because I saw, like, crafted stairs, and I was like, wow. Maybe it's train, but no. Ah. <sighs> I don't personally like Okay, I like the story of one of the side games But the other ones I could take or leave them. I don't like birth by sleep uh, Dream drop distance Is okay ish, but it introduces like the worst plot twist that kind of doesn't have any payoff in Kingdom Hearts 3. Dream Drop Distance, it's okay. <laughs> I mean, it's not as good as one of the mainline games, but it's okay. That's all I have to say about it. I like it more than Birth by Sleep. Birth by Sleep... I don't know. It's just so poorly written. 1.2 Redux or whatever. I think you're just... I think you're just talking about the compilations. The compilations are called 1.5 plus 2.5 Remix. Yeah, that's a compilation thing where they put like ports and remasters and stuff together in one package. That's not actually like a separate game, 2.1. It's 2. Point, it's 1.5 and plus 2.5, yeah. The, um... Okay, so I've done this one already. The other one is... Ooh. Oof! I need that one again. Do I? For later or for now? Oh, the baby's dead. Okay. Are all the babies dead? Or is it just that one? Just that one? Okay. You know, they did a follow-up with one of the Jesus Camp kids. Like, the, one of the kids that... Was... Oh my god. That was, uh, in the Jesus Camp documentary movie. And as a... As like an adult or older teen or something. Um, you know, he was like saying like, you know, he still believed in um, all that evangelical stuff. But something that caught my eye was that he's like, oh, I've seen babies brought back to life. And I had no idea what he meant. Like, 
Did he mean a baby was in critical condition? Or did he mean a baby was literally like... Dead, dead. And... He saw someone do faith healing and animate it. Thank you, Earthlings. Not all brain dead. Yeah, they are rude. They have a sense of superiority, even though... They crashed their ship and then couldn't figure out a way out of the mines without the help of Banjo and Kazooie. Now, where's that other one? Is it over here? No, it's not over there. It's... Oh, it's Ooh. up across from that uh, igloo. <laughs> Yes, I remember. It's the frozen man. Not to be confused with, uh... Hungry Man Dinners, which you can find in the freezer aisle. This stream sponsored by Hungry Man Dinner. When you're hungry enough for a man, but... Something, something. <laughs> I don't know. Life Force Saberman. What's a fun fact? This guy looks like a colonizer. Many thanks, young sir. Why, I've been frozen in there since 1984. Mumbo thinks seen crazy old man before, perhaps. It's quite possible. I come from a golden age where wolves were king. The name Saberman. Trat Adventuring is my game, or at least was my game. What Cable Man doing in Ice Block? That cursed saber wolf chased me all the way here, where I was frozen in my tracks by the ice dragon. I'm rather cold. Could you see your way to warming me up? Mumbo not do that, but no bear might. What's this thing he dropped? Hey. Saberman was the first rare character. He hasn't had a game since the NES era. Oh. Saber Wolf is also in Killer Instinct. It's like how they included that spaceship game thing in Donkey Kong 64. They just had to flex on you. Hey, we've made games before. We have experience making games. Saberman. What's Saberman about? If it's like a little explorer dude. It kind of makes me think that it would be like a game where you go into places and collect treasure. There's like a... There was like a pretty fun game like... A long time ago. But I don't remember... What it actually was called or anything about it. Where... It was kind of like Spelunky, right? But it wasn't like... You were underground. You just went into like different pyramids and you collected treasure. And stuff like that. There's a weird legal area in 2010 when Rare owned 
Donkey Kong, but Nintendo wanted him back. Oh, I thought Nintendo always owned Donkey Kong and they just had rare work on it. I wasn't aware that Rare ever, like, flat out owned Donkey Kong. Let me go across from here. Rare made all the Donkey Kong Country games, so they own some of it? Really now? But they didn't make, um... The original Donkey Kong, right? With the barrels and all that? No, yeah, that was Nintendo. Yeah. Ah, I can't reach that little ledge over there. Oh, I do see that climbing spot. Okay. <laughs> A little too late, but I did see it. Let's see if I can find... Um... Let's see if I can find my way to... That dude I just read, Saberman. Oh, this is not the way. This is not the way. Saberman kind of reminds me of... The next baby is Kazooie only. Ah. Yes, it is like on a ledge. Saberman kind of reminds me of... I don't know. The naming kind of reminds me of like Ultraman. Man and stuff like that. Yeah. This way? Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. What about this? I say, any chance of a little heat? <sighs> That's so much better. Glad to help an old hero. Being frozen for so long has tired me. I need a cup of tea and 40 winks. Could you possibly help me out just one more time? Of course, this sounds like a job for you, Banjo. Can you carry me back to my tent? It's over on the fiery side of the mountain. If it hasn't burned down by now. Oh! I remember that tent. I was wondering what was up with it. Okay. Looks like we'll have to separate bear and bird. That's a British sentence? What, you, you want some, some tea? A cup of tea and 40 winks? Firstly, it like, it weirds me out and it takes... <laughs> it, it weirds me out and it kind of takes me out of it that like... Sometimes Britishisms come, come into Banjo. Because I... Is this... I don't know. I just find this to be kind of an American game. Even though it's made by a British company, I feel like it's like got an American style to it. Yeah, but you know, sometimes it'll, it'll be like... They'll rhyme like red with Zed and stuff like that. And it only makes sense if you're thinking about the British way of saying things. Oh, 
Here you go. My tent. My equipment. It's just as I left it all. Those years ago. <laughs> it's probably worthless anyway. I tri you may have it, kind sir. It's a fine golden jigsaw piece. No use to me. I'm hanging up my boots. Is Wamba a human? I assumed like, like sh I know she looks very humanoid, right? But I just kind of assumed that she was maybe something else, but just looked like a human lady because uh, they needed to be horny and they couldn't get it up for like something that was too animal-like. That one? This? Hey. What is this? Is this something I've already done? I think so. Yeah. They're some of the horniest devs I know. Oh, that opens the shortcut to the Saberman's tent. Okay, okay. I got it. And let's go back to Saberman's tent and get Kazooie back. Is it Microsoft buying Rare Kill the Horny Vibes? I don't know. Are there like you know, big booba ladies in, um, Sea of Thieves? <laughs> what about Viva Piñata? Are any of those piñatas sexy? Two pinata. What does that mean? They're two pinata. You sm oh, listen, listen, listen. You full of sugar. Come on now. I'm just asking if there are pinatas where they smack some giant lumps on there. You know what I'm saying? Lovely lady lumps. Did I ever watch the Viva Pinata show on 4Kids? No. Why do I keep forgetting what this leads to? You used to love it. What was it about? Like, I assume it didn't have like a solid storyline, but like, what was it like? Hmm. Yeah, I remember watching the Donkey Kong Country show. I think the Donkey Kong Country show was actually French. Instead of British. And like, uh... I don't know, I remember... Candy kind of like... I think Candy was like a downgrade because they couldn't... I think that they couldn't, like, figure out how to cheaply make, like, flowing hair. 
So they just gave her like an updo and that was it for like every... Every up. The bad guy would go and try to ruin parties and the piñatas live to go to children's parties and get beat up. You know, I don't know what what's up with French people. Sometimes I see their output, like, you know, their video games and all that, and their movies, and I just don't know. I, I don't know if they're okay. I think... Maybe they're a little bit cracked. They're a little bit demented. Gray was made by the French? Was it now? Is it very French? Can you tell if it's... Can you tell it's French? You lived 16 in Total Drama Island when you were a kid. I did not like those. I didn't like those Canadian cartoons. I thought they looked kind of ugly and were like low effort because the animation was was just like uh, very simple flash animation. I used to complain about Canadian cartoons all the time when I was a kid. I was like, ah, oh, not those Canadians again, not those Canadians. The cat in um, Stray looks like PS2 graphics? I haven't seen much of Stray, but I didn't... Nothing stood out to me, like, from the little I've seen. Did I watch the new South Park episode? No, I... Uh, I don't watch South Park. Uh, as in... I don't watch South Park anymore. I used to as when I was younger. Why? Did something happen on South Park? I heard that there was a... There's an episode... About... What's his face? Uh, Prince Harry and Meghan. Where am I? Am I back? I'm back at that train station. Why am I back here? Why did I go back here? This episode was about Japanese toilets and bidets. And Randy's was saying that they were like the Kennedys and they got shot. I see. You know, some people out there, they believe JFK is still alive. Have, and you know, who can say? Who can say if that's true or not? Because think about it. Has any of us have any of us seen JFK's corpse? Up close and personal. No. Some people believe in two JFKs. What, you mean like an imposter? That was, uh, for the setup? Like, for the assassination? Oh, 
felt like a return to form. I think I just remember, you know. I remember when I was a ch There's two guys pretending to be JFK Jr. at QAnon rally. Oh, but they don't believe that there are actually two JFKs, right? Realize that JFK died in the 60s? That's what you know. I'm saying. Do any of us know that JFK is actually dead? Do any of us know that? Half the people believe one guy, and the others believe JFK Jr. too. Yeah, the truth is out there, guys. The truth is out there. That switch looks rusty. I'll need more weight. Okay, so I'll need to be a big fat snowball. Wasn't JFK a Democrat? Who knows? Who really knows? You think you can trust the media to tell you what party a, a politician or a president is from? No. If it comes from the fake news, lamestream media, I don't think you can trust it. I hardly ever get news from TikTok. The TikTok algorithm doesn't like give me the new stuff. It gives me like people crushing bugs and stuff. I tend to get news from like Twitter. TikTok just gives you stuff you hate? Yes, that's a that's a large portion of what TikTok gives me. But you know, it's about about how long you spend watching those videos. If you don't immediately swipe off, they're gonna think you want more. They're gonna think, hey, this is what keeping him engaged. This is what, you know. This is what will keep the sicko on our app. Where's that? Where's that last bird? Not bird. Where's that last, um, alien? He's up by the split pads in the other icy area. I see. grab a Pepsi or a strawberry and cream Dr. Pepper. You know, you brought that up, but like, that same day, 
No one else brought up strawberry and cream, Dr. Pepper. I didn't know it was a new thing. Uh, but... I don't tend to like Pepsi, actually. I'll drink Pepsi if nothing else is available, but I would probably go with the Dr. Pepper. There's something about Pepsi that is just... It's too sweet and like of course dr pepper is sweet too but there's something about pepsi that is just like it doesn't have enough to balance it out You only drink water when you're streaming or sleeping. Uh, I tend to drink both soda and water. Like, between sips of soda, I'll have some water to, like, wash it down. Okay, he's up by the split pad. I guess he's on that... Ledge up here. This big old ledge right there. Yes, I see him. I see him. guys would drop health every time. I don't know what determines whether they drop health or not. I'll have to glide from high up. Okay. I see. I need to grab those shoes. I forgot what the controls are for gliding. Is it just you hold it? I forgot how you glide. Strawberry and cream's Dr. Pepper is great, but it's not an everyday drink. I just hold Z. Okay. I see. Oh, wait. I forgot that pressing B ends the, the shoes. Yeah, sometimes when drinks are too sweet... Sometimes when anything's too sweet, I, I get a little water to wash it all down. This is not the way I want it. Similar to the cream savers candy. I think I can kind of imagine it. Like, not like I've, uh, not like I really have the cream savers candy, but like, I've had like the the little cough drops that are like cream flavor. And I think they probably taste about the same. Because, you know, those cough drops, they taste really just like candy. They are candy, basically. Baby. 
Cool, a little alien baby. Mummy? Don't look at me, kid. So cold, mummy. Daddy? Me no like cold earthling planet. Freezing warm baby, please. Aw, or I mean stop whining, kid. Okay. Oh, does this not work on the on the baby? It worked on the man. It worked on Saber Man. Oops. Wrong. Wrong egg. Only Kazooie can thaw the baby. Oh, does he mean like sh hit on him? Great. Me nice and toasty now. It's time to go home. There's no way. There's no way. That having a bird's butt on your head warms your whole body. You have done well, Earthling, but I shall have shall now have to exterminate you all for taking so long. Er, have you kids seen my laser anywhere? Ah, it must be on the ship. Your race is spared for now, Earthling. Then clear. Beaming up sequence initiating. mud flood yeah I looked up um you know I actually asked uh luxury wagon if he knew about this mud flood stuff and he said he doesn't have you never talked to him about it the Japanese painting of a crane from the Edo period fabricated well listen the Japanese have... They have drawn dragons, too. And have you ever seen a dragon? No. Hmm. Let's go after that, Jiggy. Sometimes, like, I search my memory, right? Sometimes I search my memory, and, like, I just feel like, oh, I've met this person before. But then I have to correct myself and say, no, I haven't. Like, I keep thinking, like, that... Well, not that I keep thinking, but, like, when you said Keanu Reeves just now... I had the feeling like I had met Keanu Reeves before, but then I was like, no, I haven't. I haven't. What situation when I've met Keanu Reeves? I haven't. Okay, so there... The Jiggy is right there. Right there, right there. That's where the Jiggy is. You've been fortunate problem remembering everyone's face. I'm almost the opposite. 
I get people confused all the time. And a lot of times I have a lot of trouble remembering what things look like. anxiety and I can't remember I can't remember what people look like hmm let me look can I yeah let me get out my peepers let's look how would I get up there Roland A hint. Hmm. What kind of hint? I think there's like a... You get up the oil rig? Oh yeah. Maybe. I remember some kind of slope being over there. It's not super obvious? Is it that... Do I jump higher if I'm smaller? No? Um... Sure, give me that hint then. Maybe I go up here. someplace higher and warmer. Oh, okay. Higher and warmer. Okay, Gorn. Thanks for coming by. Have a good day. Uh, let's see. That warping there wasn't... was probably not the answer, because... That wasn't as close as I thought to the other side of what have you. <laughs> that... That wasn't, um, as close as I thought it would be. Do another portion of the ice grotto. Because I do know that if you go somewhere... I think it's over here? I do know that if you go somewhere... That... Is close to here, you do end up on the far side. Oh. <laughs> 
Ooh. What? Why does he get hurt by the icy water? Why does my man who is made of snow get hurt by icy water? That don't make any sense. Snow dissolves in water? Listen, that's icy water, though. It's salt water? Oh, is it salt water? Yeah, I guess it is connected to the ocean. some kind of trick to keeping me small? Let's look over here. I can go up here, can't I? Make me small, guy. Make me small, guy. Get up there now? <laughs> no, I cannot. Okay. I want to be as small as I can. Through. Let me hurt myself. I can go through the water if I'm fast. Well, I'm not fast. I'm Sonic the Slow Hog. My hog is so slow, man. Oi! Maybe I will have to go through there. Okay. <laughs> I made it through. Okay, so... Let's see, there's a slope over here. Keep rolling, keep rolling. And then I believe that... Wait, this doesn't take me to anywhere lava-y. This just takes me up that little ridge. Yeah, on the other side. Oh, jeez. Okay, thanks for coming, Charles Manzer. I hope you have a good day. Rusty button. Yes. Yes, I, I do know that, but I mean, do I need... Do I even need to go... To... One of the ramps up here. That's more so what I was talking about. <laughs> huh. I can go here and then what else?
no man I don't know it's one of the fire areas is all you remember from two weeks ago okay well let's see let's look in one of these so-called fire areas whatever's closest we'll we'll take a gander this is the icicle place right Icicle Grotto. Yeah, it is. But if these guys make me smaller, then I can get through here. But there's like a bunch of like... There is like a bunch of... platforming here. Where I don't feel I can do that as the ice, uh, as the snowball. I was about to call myself as an Iceman, but I think that's like a, that's an X-Men character. That's not what I am, I'm a snowball. I'm softer and rounder than any Iceman. Just let's just look across the way. You put rocks and snowballs so that you could injure people. Wow. Evil. What an evil person you are. There was, um... <laughs> there was, um... An episode... Of the show... Boy... Of the show Glee... And... One of the recurring stuff... One of the recurring, like, jokes in that show is that... They get slushies thrown on them. And at one point, there's like a dramatic moment... Where someone, like, throws a slushy at a guy. And it, like, really hurts his eyes because they're like, BAM! Rock salt! And this was, like, made to be such a dramatic moment, like... As if the guy just got shot. Which, I don't know... How painful that would be... Or not. I've never had... A slushy thrown at me. You know... Oh, if I'm rolling, it's it's completely fine. Yeah. Yeah, I reached I, I realized I reached the dead end, so I was just like, oh whatever, just kill me. <laughs> Yeah, it is kind of satisfying how you break apart. Glee's a crazy show. It's, it's, it's honestly a crazy, crazy show. There's a young squirrel outside. Does it have those sandy cheeks? <laughs> it 
it's adorable. I have a hard time, like, you know, getting up for squirrels. Um, with them being so common. Ooh. I thought I was gonna die there. But also, I ruined that... I lost my progress. Because I just fell down. Off of the platform with the oil rig. But I know where to go now. Yeah, I know where to go now. Knowing is half the battle. I wonder if, uh, being the snow ball, I wonder if I go into one of those little hot places, if that would, uh, make it so that... the place will cool down. Did I... Did I fall again? I fell again. Jeez. Well, I guess this is the, the rest of the stream. Just me doing this loop. I can make one of them cool down if I meet Mildred's husband. Hurt Mildred, no matter how tempting that Jinjo is. Man, you're you're really down bad for Mildred, huh? Does this mean that I have to be like really fast in getting over there? I suppose so. I might have to use the warp pad. Okay, let's try it. It is a bit closer. And I get to skip, uh... I accidentally warped again. And I do get to skip, like, the little lava area that I keep falling into. At least. Oh no, I fell, I fell, I fell. I fell. What can I say? I fell. <laughs> Snow is meant to melt? I mean, eventually. No dad's better than no dad. You think it's painful for Banjo? I bet it's very painful. But this game isn't about Banjo's pain, it's about our pain. It's about the pain we feel. As we continue to fill that platform. I can try it again. I just think the snowball is a little bit too big. Here. But who knows, maybe it's not too big. Maybe it's just right. Do I have to be max size for this? I hope not. Too small? I have to be max size? 
Oh, I need more weight. Ah, oh, jeez. I have to be max size. Okay. So I guess I don't want to get hit at all. The thing I was worried about was just like falling off if I was too big. But yeah, let's go. No! I got like. <laughs> I got like stuck on a wall for like a moment and that was enough for me to uh, go down a peg. Oh no no. I keep warping accidentally. Okay, there we go, there we go. Now let's just not fall. We just need to take it slow. Let's see if there's anything worth digging up down there. Oh, there's a jiggy inside that pipe. I didn't expect it to be inside there. Basement. Waste disposal plan. This almost looks like Grunty's Industries. Let's see. Can we burst through this door? No. No, it doesn't look like it. Banjo only. Really? Banjo only. Let's switch over to... Then let's switch over to bird and bear. And then just become bear. Why does your cat smell like peppers? I don't know, maybe your cat got into some peppers. Maybe got into some peppers. Maybe Peter Piper picked a patch of peppers. Whee! You know, I used to go to a pizza place called like Peter Piper's, which was like Chuck E. Cheese. Um, it was like a Chuck E. Cheese competitor. I don't think it had any mascots. But I think probably like the pizza was better. But I remember I I was just so afraid of heights. And uh, they have like a tiny little roller coaster inside. It's not like anything. Really. It's But I was so scared of it. And then like I was made to go on it. And I just like I went on it and I was crying the entire time. And it's just like, yeah, guys. I told you, I'm afraid. I don't know what you th thought you were proving.
Anyway. door doesn't work for me. There used to be a pizza place with an indoor playground in your town. And the netting was broke and you could climb through so the other kids and you would hide in it. Oh, okay. Dangerous, it sounds kind of dangerous. I don't know what it is with you and the life that you lead. It seems as if you were such. It seems like you grew up on the wrong side of the tracks. Putting salt in your. I mean, I'm not putting salt. Putting rocks in your snowballs. Climbing into dangerous nets. Okay. Let's see. Is that... That's about it, right? <laughs> For that area. Just the fire area, I think, has all the stuff. I've got five jiggies left here. I also did unlock, like... I did unlock... a new level. Oh, also... I suppose I need to, um, whoa. Find that ice cube. I have not found the ice cube. And I do need to find the ice cube. George is not here. He's in another level. Oh, okay. George is not found in this level. Okay. Uh, George is not found. George not found is uh, he's like a Twitch streamer kind of I think, and he does like the Minecraft stuff. He like does the Minecraft SMP, the role playing they do with uh like Dream and all that. He's a real hit with the with the kids. The kids love it. They love it when you go into Minecraft and you're like, ooh, things. Where's that last level? No, wait. Over here? Let's just go to this. Oh, here's the bubble. You here to ride in the great bubble elevator up to the clouds. Cloud Cuckoo, uh, Cuckoo Land. Oh, I remember this. This is where you were racing, um, Canary Mary before.
Don't race her more than once here. I see a dude. Some kind of ant eater. And he's getting his reps in. Good for him. First is a Jiggy, the second is a Cheeto Page. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't really care about Cheeto Pages. Anyway, I think that's a good place to, to leave off because we just went to a new level, we did a bunch of things. And it's been like six hours. And if I start this level and search around, I think it's gonna be like three more hours or something crazy like that. Yeah, let's raid Evil Rafa since he put in that uh, reward redeem. But yeah, thanks for everyone who came and chatted and watched and whatever. See you next time. <laughs>